A STORY ABOUT THE COUNTRY'S WAR HISTORY TURNED INTO A HARD LESSON ABOUT THE DANGERS OF ALCOHOL FOR A GROUP OF SIXTH GRADERS. A REVOLUTIONARY WAR REENACTOR IS ACCUSED OF BEING DRUNK WHEN HE VISITED A BOXFORD MIDDLE SCHOOL. AS KATIE BRACE EXPLAINS, POLICE SAY THE DRAKIT MAN SHOWED UP LATE WITH BLOODSHOT EYES CARRYING A MUSKET. THESE REVOLUTIONARY WAR MUSKETS WERE SUPPOSED TO BE PART OF A LEARNING EXPERIENCE, BUT SIXTH GRADERS IN BOXFORD NEVER GOT TO SEE THEM. They were also spared a much more adult lesson when teachers realized something was off with the man hired for a reenactment. Very strong odor of alcohol in his breath. Dennis Cormier runs Hands on History, bringing the Revolutionary War into the classroom. This is his Facebook page with thank yous from various school districts several years ago. But on Tuesday morning, he arrived late to the Spofford School. The staff started helping him unload the costumes for the students. He also was slurred speech, staggering, and having difficulty navigating the process of setting up his props. The principal called police, and the chief was one of those who responded. According to court paperwork, Cormier's blood alcohol level was two and a half times the legal limit. He told officers he only had coffee, but police found an empty nip of vodka in his jacket. They also discovered liquor and beer in the car. Cormier ended up at the police station. The students never even saw him. Some parents did ask why there was no presentation, but the students also never saw the muskets or the costumes they were supposed to wear, as those now sit at the police station as part of this case's history. Cormier is charged with operating under the influence as he lives in Drakeit and was seen driving into the parking lot. He now has to undergo daily alcohol screenings. I reached out to Cormier and have yet to hear back. In Boxford, Katie Brace, WBZ News.